Okay, welcome to a quick video on uh, creating those final final planning for laser cutting. So you've got your you've got a um, so what you could do is similar to what we did before is copy your your design, place it in here. Um, the size of the document is. Uh, 30 by 22 about so you know that's about as big as I can make it it's about 20 centimeters I'm gonna lock it down I'm gonna trace around it I'm gonna color in those parts so here I've got my example of that maybe I made it a little smaller okay so we got that so now I have my full color version I can add uh, the dotted lines like we did with the stroke, with the dashed lines, using the pen tool. Let me make, give it a stroke. Let's make them, um, let's make them um, black. We're gonna turn off this stroke, dash lines, 10, 10, that sounds good. Let me just put a couple in here, one here. Here we're gonna sew that together, etc. So I would do all of that. Now that I've got my full color version done, I would click on it and copy and paste it and bring it over here. Uh, I'm gonna unfill it because I want just the outlines. Leave the lines black. So this is where you need to actually think about the parts you need. Uh, they might be parts that sit on top of other parts, it might be the background, and you need to separate them. In my case, my Godzilla is okay size, but I might need a little bit more white uh, artboard in order to, to fit everything here. So as I pull things apart, I realize I need a little more space. So it's okay to click on the artboard uh, tool right here and just make this a little larger so that you can have all the parts that you need for your soft circuits let me see because you're going to need to place all four of these parts onto the same artboard so we can make it a little bit bigger we don't want to change the size of any of this these parts. So I'm going to delete these um, dotted lines because I don't need them. Here's the spines for Godzilla. Here's his arm. I do need to close it because it's not a closed arm. So I'm going to go ahead and join it. So I need that. And I'm going to make this a stuffy, so I'm going to copy. I need two of these. Okay. There's, I don't need the eye in here because I'm going to use and these claws. I need two of them. There we go. Got the arm. Is that? I don't know what that is. So I need two of these. These are going to be, and then I'm going to say what color they're going to be. Just like in here, tell what color they're going to be. And then the last thing you want to do is create the um, I want to create the uh, circuit diagram here so I'm going to grab that I'm going to make another copy of it I'll put that one down here it doesn't have to be as big because it's just going to show where the circuit goes but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to shape build it all together because I don't want necessarily there we go. Um, I just want the outline of Godzilla so I can show. So I need to file place. It's in downloads, I think. Let's see. We're looking for the lily pad PNG. There it is. Place it. Well, these are going to be really small. Maybe I'll make this a little bit bigger. I'm going to place one of them here. I'm going to delete. 
All right, well, you get the idea. So I'm gonna take away these because I just wanna see the conductive thread. And they are supposed to be in his breath. So there's gonna be three of these. One, two, there's three that are gonna be in his breath. Right here. So, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the pen tool. Pen tool, I'm gonna make it gray. I'm gonna hit the stroke, just make sure it is dashed line, great. I'm gonna do all the minuses. And then I'm gonna do all the pluses. Gotta go around here. Oh, I need the, um, I also need to place the, uh, what do you call it, the battery holder. There we go. Click it. Click on the selection tool so we can rotate it. Let's see. Minus. There we go. So it's gonna go right here on the back, I guess. So I can just connect these. I need to grab that. Make them a little thicker so you can see them. There we go. Now you can see where my conductive thread goes. All right, so I've got all those. I just need to label, put some labels on and then create the production outline. Your, your design might be a little different, so tell me what you're gonna do first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and so on. I'm gonna take these those. And that's basically, I'm ready to send these to my teacher. Thank you.